Hello, it's Rodney Allen Rippey, and you're listening to 90.3 FM Radio Suerte, and this is the Monday Evening Report. The Russia-U.S. divide becomes evident during Moscow's month-long presidency there with the U.N. Council. Since Russia invaded the Ukraine back in 2022, this was a blatant violation of the U.N. Charter. This has also stressed out the sovereignty and territorial integrity of over 193 members of the World Organization. The U.S. Deputy Ambassador Robert Wood has refused to call any Russian foreign minister or any other Russian diplomat Mr. President. It's standard practice when you are over a council, you refer to them as president. So this indeed confirms that this is a icy situation that is happening between Russia and the U.S. More world news. Barcelona wants to get rid of short-term rental units. And so if you you are a tourist and you want to go there and you want to rent a place and have an Airbnb, well, the Barcelona City Hall has made an announcement and said after 2028, there will be no more licenses given where people can do Airbnb. So if you're planning on seeing beautiful Barcelona, you better get a little hitch in your giddy up and get going because it is not going to be the same after 2028. On to national news, a group of over 2,000 migrants from southern Mexico are in hopes to be able to get into the United States and they are on foot walking towards the United States. This is a big problem with human rights organizations and concerned citizens are puzzled. This says a lot about our government and so how are we going to safeguard our borders? This is going to be a major point in the election. When we start talking about the election, we're like 90 plus days away from the presidential race and it is between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. And so 90.3 FM Radio Suerte would encourage you to get out and vote. Make sure that you are reading all of the information within this election so you could be completely informed and make the best decision. And you want to vote from your heart, vote for your family, vote for what matters to you. And we have an exclusive interview with the one and only the Honorable Congresswoman Diane Watson. And I am so very, very thankful that today, July 29th, 2024, it is my birthday. And so, and what a great gift to be able to spend a little time with Congresswoman Diane Watson. She has served as a U.S. representative for California's 33rd District, and she also made many, many other inroads in politics. A lot of people may not know. Congresswoman Diane and Watson was also a teacher and she was also a school psychologist. This is really, really wonderful. On that note, I would like to say welcome, Honorable Diane Watson to 90.3 FM. I'm great being with you. And I now call myself Ambassador Diane Watson because I am no longer in Congress, but I was there. Mm -hmm. I was in the Senate in the state of California, Mm -hmm. and I worked overseas as the ambassador as well. So to be here in Los Angeles, California, with Roddy Allen Riffey is quite amazing and very spiritual to me. And thank you for coming to my home. I have a question. Now, you know, this election is so important. And Ambassador, you you have been so important to so many different Mm -hmm. people in politics, but especially one that's in the spotlight right now, our great VP, Kamala Harris, and you were almost like a big sister to her, showing her the way. And she has all the political and historical background to become a president of the United States of America. Congresswoman, 
Thank you for your remarks. This is incredible, and we appreciate this exclusive interview with you. Godspeed. We wish you continued relaxation in your retired years, and I know you're still a lightning rod, and you're still making great things happen in politics. Your influence is immeasurable, and we really appreciate your time. Moving on to local news, Irvine police are searching for a woman who they caught on camera being a porch pirate. That's right. She was on a scooter riding along and all of a sudden she notices a package without any regard she just stops her scooter gets off picks up the package and puts it into a big bag that she has thrown around her shoulder and she rides off and she smiles actually when she picks up the pack one problem there was a camera actually catching all of this and so now the Irvine police are looking for her not a good thing to do so current weather this morning it started out around 83 degrees it got up to about 81 Tuesday it's going to be around 80 Wednesday Wednesday around 79, Thursday around 81, and Friday going to be a little bit warmer around 83 degrees. And what's hot in the OC? Hey, one fun thing, if you want to beat the heat, why not check out La Habra Bowl? That's right. It's a great bowling alley. Been around for many, many years. And you know, you can go in, beat the heat, knock out a few pins, and grab some real good food. You know, they got some snacks there too for you, so that's not so bad. Also, the OC Fair is in full swing there in Coast to Mesa and for you adventurous types you can check out Thrill It Fun Center there at the outlets at Orange. So that's a real cool thing. On the entertainment side, we have love in the air. Lady Gaga is at the Paris Olympics and she is there with her new man, Michael Polanski, and they just made a huge announcement. They are engaged. That's right, Lady Gaga is engaged. So we wish her all the love and happiness possible. And hopefully we will be seeing some major, major wedding bells soon. And wrapping up the entertainment report what better news can i give it's me your reporter rodney allen rippy and today that's right today is my birthday i'm sorry it's a shameless plug but yes i will celebrate because the party is on i am here on the party train and i say to myself happy birthday and to all my friends and all the listeners out there thank you for your warm birthday wishes i appreciate it and i'm going to enjoy my birthday on that note, I'm closing out this news report. I'm Rodney Allen Rippey, and you just heard another 90.3 FM Radio Suerte report.